Today I want to show you how to create this effect. It's really easy to create, so let's start right away. I already prepared my timeline. I have one clip at the start. This is also the video that's going to play in the background. Then I have 12 videos. First one is 12 frames and the rest are 2 frames. Keep in mind that the frames can be longer. You can use this as a starting point the first time you are doing this effect as you practice. Then later you can tweak it and make it your own. And at the end I have one more clip. So right after the effect is over we'll transition to this clip. Highlight all of the clips that we'll be using for this effect and pre-compose them. Because I'm working with a vertical video I'll have to scale it down. Then I'll create a mask. So go to the mask tool Click on it and hold until you are able to see more options. Click on rounded tool, that way we'll have round edges which I kinda prefer for this effect. Ok, once you're done, apply basic 3D effect on the pre-composed clip, keyframe tilt at the start to zero, move 10 frames to the right and spin it 2 times. Highlight the keyframes and go to ease ease. We'll pre-compose the same clip again. Now we'll apply transform. Move 10 frames to the right, keyframe position and scale, go back to the start, decrease the scale and drag the position down. Uncheck shader angle and change it to 180 and you can enable motion blur. And again you'll want to easy ease the keyframes. I'll create an adjustment layer and apply shake right here. And let me get back to the transform effect real quick. I want to keyframe the rotation after 10 frames to 0, then go at a start and rotate it. Again easy ease them. And I'll create another adjustment layer and apply shake again, right after the effect is over and we transition to the last clip. So yeah this is it for this tutorial, so try it out and tag me on Instagram if you do. I really enjoy seeing what you come up with and how are you using effects and transitions from the tutorials that I do. It's really fun for me to watch that and I always love to repost it so more people can see it. As always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.